so we're just out here. We got this old boat trailer for a hundred bucks from Craigslist. And so actually, well, it's four hundred because we had to buy these new wheels and tires because the old ones over there they didn't quite get us home, as you can see there. Uh, one of them shredded, and yeah, so they they'd have got. Um, didn't even get us home, didn't even get us on the highway, even, so, we had to get new ones anyway, so we just went and bought them then, so, so actually what we're going to do is we're going to, well, I already got two of the U-bolts, the U-bolts right there off, uh, so we're going to take the U-bolts off and slide this whole, the whole, uh, that piece and that piece, that whole, the whole axle frame thing, scoot it up. And we're going to put the axle right there on those yellow marks. And that'll be exactly 60-40. And we're going to chop the tongue right there. Almost right behind the old one because it's real rusty under there and stuff. So. Okay, so got the U-bolts off. And this is what I was talking about. We're going to scoot this whole thing up forward about two foot. So we'll get our nice 60-40 axle, you know, placement. And so, I'm going to have to grind on the bottom of these. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to grind right here so I can get me a nice good weld. Same on the bottom, so I just flipped it over. And now, we're not going to use the U-bolts again because they're going to stick up above where our deck needs to go. And I'm just going to weld it on there and get a lot more welding. And the welding will be a lot stronger and we won't be, be relying on friction to hold our... Uh, trailer on it'll be bonded on there so there we go I just gotta grind it off um, grind off the paint and then we'll get it all clamped in and start welding on so that's step two get it ground ready ground down which is always everybody's favorite part so stay tuned okay so got it all ground down on this thing and the underside of the other thing I got it ground down in those force places so I'll weld them on I made triple pass just because it's a trailer but I got it well or ground on the bottom side of there there over there where that yellow is and right there somewhere so it's all ground down under there ready to go so next I'll put you up on the tripod and we'll uh, get this thing lined up clamped in and Tacked on, so that's next. Okay, whoops, messed up. So, got, uh, I ground it down in the same place, but since we're moving it up, it angles in. It angles in, and so, uh, I'm gonna have to grind more there and there. So, I'll get that done, and then we'll keep moving on this. Okay, so got those first welds on. Not too pretty, but they'll hold. Uh, yeah, they'll hold on there. So got those eight welds done. Now I'm gonna weld up under there. So all four of them, and we'll keep chugging along on this project. It shouldn't take very long. So stay tuned.
Okay, so those square tubes are welded onto that channel with, you know, 32 inches of weld, so shouldn't be going anywhere. Okay, so here we're in the demolition stage of the trailer. I uh, got through taking all the wiring off. It's right down there, right there, and so now I'm just going to, you know, start cutting cutting that thing off and I think that's it for now um, we may are thinking about cutting the tongue off right where right where that rusty spot is um, but we don't know if we can based on the way the jack swings uh, if it'll hit the truck or not up here so I'm gonna wait to cut the tongue off we'll see once we get closer you know down to the end of the project but uh, so I guess I'll get here to cutting and see what it looks like after that. So we'll get this off here. Blade doesn't quite go all the way through, so we'll we'll get it off. Okay, we're also going to saw off these little light bangs. 